There we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Port Mahon. How are we doing? Very well, thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's intimate enough that we can just answer with like four sentences. <laughs> like, just generic cheer and just, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Now, thanks for making the correct decision of choosing to spend this beautiful, lovely, warm, sunny evening inside a very dark, black room with us tonight. <laughs> so, thank you very much for that. Thank you. So, as I mentioned, we are the Orchid Actors. Tonight we're going to be doing some improvised comedy. So that means it's all made up. There's no scripts, no direction, but hopefully the funny will come. We shall see. <laughs> so we'll start tonight by introducing all of us to you guys, and then we'll be working our way through tonight, okay? So first of all joining us is Shan. Now Shan was originally going to be the UK's entry to Eurovision last night, <laughs> but he had to pull out on the grounds of, can I quote, being too good. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, and tonight he's hopefully going to regale us with a little bit of that talent. And this is uh, Beth. Um, Beth was born on Sagittarius A at the centre of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Um, she spent her whole life travelling to Oxford. Um, today she finally arrived and um, she joined Orchid Actors because it was the first um, entry in the yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Lisa, and Lisa survives only on eating lime starbursts in even numbers. Um, but today she's actually had five lime starbursts, so she's feeling a little bit on edge, so give her a little bit of a <laughs> Well, and this is Ed. Uh, he is a professor of insects, and today he's given his first foot massage to a millipede. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, this is Petter. Pet has a phobia of human-sized doors, so up until this point has been leaving her house to the cat flap. <laughs> but tonight, she has braved it and opened the door and left and arrived here to be with us, Pet. <laughs> and of course, this is Rob. Not many people know this about Rob, but Rob actually taught the musical artist Eminem how to rap. Now, Christmases at Eminem's house are really neat and tidy and have all the little bows and everything. <laughs> and that is our team tonight. <laughs> I can see you're very impressed. Uh, <laughs> Stunned into silence, yeah. Okay, so tonight we're going to be doing a series of um, scenes and situations, as I mentioned before. It's going to be all made up, all fresh. And so, how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with your help. And looking at the size of the audience tonight, there's going to be a lot of heavy lifting, all right, guys. <laughs> so, we're going to make sure you're all well cracked and ready, okay? So, just so I know how the room is, give me a cheer if you've been to improv before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a ghost and a man at the back. Brilliant. That's what we say. Fantastic, because I'm Christmas Carol. And now, uh, give me a cheer if you've not been to improv before. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, more ghosts, and yeah, it seems the majority of the room, um, an overwhelming majority. So uh, basically at any point at the start of the game, one of these actors might ask for a, what we call a suggestion, and a suggestion can come in many forms. It could be the name of a scene, it could be a job or a profession, it could be a theme or topic, a location, that sort of thing. So don't worry for those of you who are new here, as part of your admission price tonight, you're going to get a full crash course training into how to give a suggestion. That sound good? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Formal answers. Love it. What is good? Yes, yes. That's gone on. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll start off with a professional job. Can people shout out to me examples of professional jobs like vet or singer? Ideally not those two. Give me a few more. An honest policeman. An honest policeman. I love it. I love it. Uh, I like the event. You're really running the fantasy angle here. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Any more jobs, professions? Ski instructor. Ski instructor, yes, mm -hmm. very nice. Any more? Cleaner. Cleaner. Cleaner, yeah. very good. Be very useful in this room. <laughs> uh, a town planner, fantastic. Love it. Oxford always a bit the heated issue at the moment. Uh, fantastic, great. I think we've nailed the uh, we've nailed the job angle. We're now going to step it up a bit. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Brad. He's all right, man. Uh, sit down. Uh, can we have exa an example of a location, a location a scene might take place in, like a garden or a pub? Soft play. 
soft play play <laughs> uh, very intense gritty scene. A lay by. A lay by, okay, say no more. Uh, <laughs> any more locations? Um, beach. Beach, okay, they're the main three, aren't they? Soft play, lay by beach. <laughs> they're the big three. They're the big three, yeah? Fantastic, great, All right, that's locations now. And now I'm going to do one more, okay? I think we're ready for it. I'm going to be talking themes and topics. So could someone give me an idea of what a theme or a topic of a scene might be? Like, I don't know, peeling an apple or that sort of thing? Cooking breakfast. Cooking breakfast, fantastic, I love it. Very good, very practical. Eurovision voting. Eurovision voting, yes, again, very practical. Uh, can I have one more piece? Shopping. Shopping, yeah. I like it. We're not shooting for the stars here, are we? <laughs> we, went, we used up all our crazy on the honest policeman, and now we're going around. Well, we're very grounded in reality now. Make it too easy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. So, congratulations, everybody. I am pleased to announce you have passed your suggestion training course. <laughs> it was worth coming out, right? You, you passed something. Fantastic. So, we'll start very shortly, but just at half time, we're going to be passing around cards. We'd love you to write on those cards, those exact sort of suggestions I've just been talking about. So locations, professions and topics. I'll remind you nearer the time, but obviously keep that at the back of your mind. And looking at how many you're in tonight, there might be a lot of writing. <laughs> so, great. I think we're ready to start. Let's improv! <laughs> Fantastic, great catchphrase. Now, so to start tonight, could somebody give me a physical position that I, I can take on? Ideally, the splits. <laughs> you pre to yeah? Ideally, one which is physically possible for me to do. A 32 year old, not very flexible man who does not partake in yoga. Like that ballet pose where you're sort of like that. Like that ballet pose where you're sort of like that. <laughs> I see you're an expert, right? I love Swan Lake. Which, which bit? The dancing? Yeah. Alright. So, is this like the ballet pose, yeah? yeah. Alright. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's very wise, by the You will never make a ballet dancer. <laughs> Spout's going the wrong way. I'm a little teapot. <laughs> So last day before we emigrate. <laughs> <laughs> we want the car, we want the car, we want the car. <laughs> I apologise for that. Change. <laughs> This is all quick. <laughs> For the last time, Dad, I'm not going to pull it. <laughs> Dad, I'm not going to sniff it. <laughs> I can pick yours first. <laughs> Go on, take it. You haven't turned it on, have you? <laughs> Change. So you just want to get a little bit more into it, Patricia, when you're doing your gorilla pose, like... Welcome to this flight from Tenerife. I'll be taking off shortly. We are just about... <laughs> See here a very fine example of a pylon. And this pylon uh, loves to uh, shout things uh, that are quite inappropriate for an electricity appliance. Don't give me time. Lettuce! 
that's, that's, that's very inappropriate for a panel to shout. Uh, this concludes my intensive lecture. <laughs> Change. Oliver, for the last fucking time, you can't have any more! He's not looking. I've been waiting for that coconut to fall for a long time as well. Gave up. <laughs> Dad, I didn't mean to get it stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are such a happy family. <laughs> Just get the clothes on the mannequin.
work and <laughs> my life <laughs> and my <coughs> deep desires to form <laughs> intense bonds with sheep. Ah, it's so happy, happy, <laughs> formed many intense bonds with sheep. Tell us more about this, uh, this stage in, in your uh, development. My sheep adore me. <laughs> And are these feelings reciprocated? <laughs> How do you feel about sheep? I mean, despite the terror, is there love as well? Unfortunately, there is no love for me. But I know they like me. And sometimes they do not <laughs> respect <laughs> me. And so you feel that you require the sheep's respect to uh, really carry out your work. And how do you how do you turn this round and get respect from sheep? To get respect from oh, sheep, you need to really look for holes in their esteem. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So you kind of. After this therapy, you've kind of then turned the, you know, you've now used a sort of negative form of therapy to use against the sheep. And, um, and, and, and so, how has that enabled you to study them? What have you discovered about sheep? Sheeps are gentle creatures and terrible liars <laughs> and gorgeous lovers, <laughs> whilst also being terribly insecure. Fascinating. <laughs> I'm, I'm really intrigued now to find out more about um, sheep as, as, as lovers uh, <laughs> <laughs> and as liars, but I think lovers is more. Mm. I mean, the audience wants to know more about sheep mm. as lovers. Tell us about your favourite sheep love. When I was a older teenager, <clears throat> I went to the fields and I loved the way I bleated. <laughs> so I decided that this could be the start of a meaningful relationship. So, well, you were a teenager, I think that's quite enough of that. Well, thank you very much for sharing your expertise on, on sheep. Cheering. <laughs> Tracks them, I feel, is in this Welsh wetness. Hay <laughs> season <laughs> upon us, Ben. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just time to learn how to make hay before the sun goes. <laughs> <laughs> Knives out to cut the hay. Look, um, let me give you a hand there. Uh, my knife is sharper than yours. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's test it. <laughs> Opposite stats. <laughs> Prepare yourself for 
set him in victory. The winner gets a sheep. <laughs> Queen's rules, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> Reading, Monarch, only. <laughs> Save yourself while you can. My knife is sharp. Try your best. <laughs> Underhand dog, using two hands. <laughs> <laughs> Vermin, you know not how to fight. Wanker. <laughs> Executing sheep time. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, we could uh, keep it. And milk it and make cheese. <laughs> Zoology experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff, right out of gang. Can I have the first line of a story? A line that might start a story. Like once upon a time there was blah blah blah, that sort of thing. Happily I skipped. I'm dancing feet, man, I like it. Okay, happily I skipped. And could I have the last line of the same story, please? <laughs> <laughs> and my rope is now in a museum. And my rope is now in a museum, thank you very much. <laughs> happily I skipped. And my rope is now in a museum. <laughs> Happily, I skipped. My least favourite track on the album. And my rope is now in a museum. Happily, I skipped. My least favourite track on the album. But luckily, there was a banger coming up. And my rope is now in a museum. Happily, I skipped. My least favourite track on the album. But luckily, there was a banger coming up. And listening to it, I decided to become a hangman. And my rope is now in a museum. Happily, I skipped. My least favourite track on the album. But there was only one track. The next one was a banger. <laughs> and listening to it, I decided to become a hangman. My rope is now in a museum. <laughs> Okay, right, bad news everybody. Unfortunately, the actors have gone on strike. The audience have gone on strike. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to say it. But luckily, Beth and I scabs, so uh, we'll be uh, performing, performing a scene for you tonight. I'll be playing one part, uh -huh. and Beth will be playing all the other parts. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. That sounds fair, isn't it? Yeah, uh -huh. that sounds fair. You're a good actor. It's like Kenneth Branagh. Yeah, Kenneth Branagh, you know, right, a thing, she's a thing, whatever, yeah. Great, so, can we have a location for a scene where lots of people may be present? A beach. A beach. <laughs> Loves the beach! <laughs> Fantastic, we'll go there. Right then. Right. <sighs> Do you want to lay down your towel, pet? There you go, just lay it down. Look at that. That is a fine towel. Look oh, at that detailing. It Look. is, isn't it? Look at that towel. You're going to sunbathe. You got really burnt last time. Put some cream on. Yeah, I was thinking, um, I saw the guy at the front of the beach. He was selling some, like, what looked like really dodgy looking cream. And I want to try it. You want to try some cream, but I'm not dodgy looking cream. Yeah, I want to try dodgy cream. Dodgy cream? <laughs> yeah, well, it had like a skull and crossbones on it, it looks so fucking cool! So you want me to go and get some cream? No, no, no! Here comes the guy selling that dodgy oh, looking cream. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me there. I have some absolutely tip-top cream. You look like you could use some of you a little bit red in the face. Would you like some cream? Oh, I'd love some cream. Uh, what's in it? Um, it's cream. Yeah, I'll put it. Good Green, stuff. Yeah. And, um, like, cat piss. That's, is that... <laughs> That's supposed to be very good for the skin. Very good for the skin. Okay, very yeah, good yeah, yeah, yeah. For the skin. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. That lady screaming the other day was saying that it was very good for her skin. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
How about, because I'm very sensitive, mm. try it on my friend first. Okay, yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. You, sorry, you want me to try it on? I do, yeah. <sighs> okay, um, can I try it on please? Yes, which one would you like? Would you like the pink one, the red one, or the green one? I'll have the pink one. Okay, here we go. Just Are you me. sure? Well, now you've done me, look, right, it's right there. Okay. Would you like the cream? My friend will do it. Uh, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do they reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> don't try the cream! My nana tried the cream and it made her blind! Just don't try the cream! Is that her there? Oh, oh. <laughs> don't try the cream! Don't try the cream! Okay. Come to the beach every day and now I can't see because I tried the plastic cream! Okay, right, I'm ready. I'm going to try the cream. You're going to try the cream. I haven't tried the cream yet. Just try the cream first. Try the cream, okay. Oh. Oh. Actually, that's all right. It looks like it's going well, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I just, I'm feeling a rash. Right, okay. I'm just, I'm feeling a rash being worn. Yeah. Is that expected? Just, just, yeah, the rash is totally, totally normal. It's like okay. it's reacting with your skin. Right, it, it looks just, like it's reacting badly. Like it's really reacting, it's not reacting badly. It's reacting badly. Is this what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some sun cream? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a person selling a glow stick. <laughs> I could get, take away the person selling the glow Would you like some sun cream? <laughs> I'm blind! <laughs> no, thank you! <laughs> I am blind! <laughs> no, thank you! Yes, please! I don't know! I'm just saying I don't know. <laughs> yes, please! Would you like some more? Thank you. <laughs> I think that's about yeah. right. Okay, and now we are going to perform a play for you. Um, unfortunately, the two members of the awkward actors that we're going to perform the play aren't here. So uh, myself and Shan, the understudies, are going to perform the play. Unfortunately, I can't remember which play it is. Uh, would you to help me? Might be. Might be this one. Oh yes, this is it. Peter Barnes, The Rolling Class. Yes, that was it. Thank you, Ooh. sir. Now, unfortunately, we only have one copy of the play, so I will be using the copy that we do have of the play to read the play, and, and Sean here will be, um, he'll be doing his best. <laughs> <laughs> have to be sure, he's buried in consecrated ground. Yes, I, we hit him with a spade well and good, so we were, we were very sure. Cocked hat? Why was he still wearing a cocked hat? <laughs> well, I thought it was because I hit him with the spade and the hat bent. <laughs> but now you come to think of it, I, I, I think he was wearing a cocked hat all along. Underpants? Why was he in his underpants? <laughs> well... I um, was in a bit of a hurry and I didn't have time to put them on my trousers, so uh, I, uh, did, I borrowed them. <laughs> kind of borrowed. But what was he doing in a ballet skirt? Answer me that! Well, you remember that production of Swan Lake? <laughs> where uh, <laughs> the, the dancers didn't turn up and the understudies had to perform it based on a choreography chosen by the audience. <laughs> well, that's... He was in the middle of that when we, uh, you know, knocked him off. I have had that honour, Sir Charles. <laughs> it was an honour, wasn't it? I mean, uh, to... Sir Charles, <laughs> might I suggest Tucker stays? I think he should stay in the ground. Uh, I mean, he's, uh, or do you think, I mean, cremation? We didn't consider cremation, did we? Um, May I take this opportunity to express my condolences? <laughs> uh, it's everything in its proper place. We are the ruling class, after all. Mm. Everything in its proper place. We should, even though we did kill him, I don't think it's, it would be rude not to offer condolences. No. Hmm, may I say to Charles, how refreshing it is to meet with such restraint. And usually, I'm afraid of these occasions, um, are so um, emotional. Yes, I thought you were going to snog at the beginning, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad you showed restraint. <laughs> but Sir Charles, shouldn't we wait? Because Lordship's heir. Well, we've already killed him. Uh, I mean, it's a bit late to be waiting now. Very well, Sir Charles. I'll inform him later. I'm sure he'll want to know, and probably he'll want his condolences too. Uh, maybe the cremation as well, if we get a chance to ask him. No one. <laughs> no one, uh, yes, no one, no one will know. We've done this terrible deed. If this, my will, is contested, and I'm, I'm reading from the thing on the ground. If this, my will, <laughs> is contested, the whole of my estate, both real and personal, is bequeathed to the charities named herewith. The Earl Haig Fund, Lord Wharton's, Ah, yes. Well, <laughs> as uh, Sir Charles Lord Earl Hay and Wharton's, um, that means it goes to me. So, um, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome to TEDx, Paul Mahon. Thanks for being here tonight. You're in for an excellent talk. Could you tell me what that talk will be on? What do you most want to know about tonight? Fingernails. Fingernails. Thank you. <laughs> now, unfortunately, our expert tonight, uh, Dr. Cuticle, is not from this country and does not speak English, but I can translate. Dr. Cuticle. The fingernail is misunderstood. <laughs> when I was five years old, I had cuticles. And tamakiti hapata. And fingernails grew out of them. And tamikan senami hankan talami. My brothers and sisters also had fingernails. And kapati pi hantapaki talati. My uncle chopped three of them off. And kapantina hankasampa. This hurt a great deal. And kapantina. Hansami. It stuck with me for the rest of my life. And Kampati Asapa. But I picked myself up. And Kampati Alasami Kampati. Decided to study cuticles and fingernails. And Kampati Mi Hampati. Across the ocean. And Kampati Asapati Tukutompa. To study under the foremost expert in fingernail plucking. I'm sure you've felt this before in your own life. The, f the feel of the fingernails being plucked is almost soothing. <laughs> After the pain comes and subsides. My uncle and my three siblings, who had left overseas, they had a pr point to prove, but only two fingers to prove it with. <laughs> They saved and saved to try to come over and find me. Anka Martina has some pata. Meanwhile, I continued my life saving research. Anka Panta Sampi. To make semi permanent fingernails. Anka Tamasimi, Hata Patina, Han Patina Santa. These fingernails are drawn half from that of an ape. And half from a polycarbide. <laughs> this combination is ultra durable and hard. <laughs> it also benefits from being rapidly prototyped. <laughs> Thus making it suitable for everyone, no matter their age and wealth background. So you too can benefit from my family's misfortune. <laughs> Thank you. Right there, gang. Who wishes they're at home watching TV? Hey. Oh, don't say that, don't say that. But tonight we're going to be bringing the TV to you guys. In my hand, I hold a magic remote control. Look at the magic, look at the buttons. So magic you can't see it. Uh, and with this, I can show you four channels of our fantastic TV. So, all you need to decide is what you want to see. I'm thinking for channel one, we should have a detective show, yeah? yeah. So could anybody give me a possible crime that could have occurred in a detective show? Fish theft. Fish, fish theft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, fish theft. Yeah. If this is a harbour town, this always be going nuts. <laughs> fish theft. Yeah. Fish theft. All right, great. I love it. Change channel. 
On this channel, we're going to be having, ooh, very nice, a music documentary. So someone can give me a band or a genre they want to learn about. Opera. Opera. <laughs> very highbrow. Love it. Chad Shadow. Okay, let's do something exciting. Let's have a historic epic, yeah? Whoa. It's a historic sound. Uh, <laughs> someone can give me a, a, a historic period for this drama to take place in. The Stone Age. The Stone Age. Love it. We're going way back. Way, way back. I love it. Chad Shadow. And finally, we've got some breaking local news. So breaking, so local, we don't know what it is yet. So can somebody give me a breaking local news story from Oxford? That may or may not have really happened. <laughs> Stolen tortoise. Stolen tortoise. I suspect that probably has happened. Uh, I love it. Right, stolen tortoise. Just as a recap, Joe Shadow. What are we doing? Fish theft! Fish theft! Love it. <laughs> what are we doing? Opera! That's the classiest thing that's ever happened in this room, right? Joe <laughs> Shadow. Stone Age. Stone Age, love it. Oh. Oh, don't start too much. Joe Shadow. And finally. Breaking on the run tortoise. No, <laughs> stolen tortoise. Tonight, <laughs> we look for a tortoise that has gone missing. It's, it's a great, slow night. It's <laughs> great news for us. That's the rough gist of the story. I think these are the words. Change channel, right. Away we go. All right, Gav. All um, right. I've got this case has come in. There's some, some, some dude called uh, Nemo has like been taken. Oh, was he? Yeah. Like, oh. His dad's going nuts. He's blowing his bubble. He, have you taken a report on that? I, I've tried. You know how I've told you about taking reports? You're not going to go up a level unless you take reports. I've been, I've been writing it down. Right. Here. Cool. On this piece of rock. I've sort of carved it in with seaweed. Right. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. You can sort of make it out. Yeah, so... So is it, are we looking at abduction? Are we looking at... We're looking at fish duction. Fish duction. Shut up. <laughs> and Dame Lady Ha Ha performed in her first opera at the age of 17, debuting to La Traviata. <laughs> She wowed everyone with the high notes that she could reach, higher than opera singers could previously reach. Even higher than that. Chad Shadow! Bravo! I'm hungry! Uh, I've got cornflakes. Chad Shadow! We have breaking news coming in that the tortoise has been lost. The tortoise is missing. Okay, we're putting all no, send Boris home. We have no time to talk to him. Not care, no, this takes precedent. We're going to go to our um, correspondent in the field who's out looking for the tortoise. Hello, Clark, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, Kirsty, I'm here in the field. <laughs> in in South, South, South Park, in fact. Oh, uh, a real field. And we are trying to find this tortoise. And how is the pursuit going? We have tried uh, only five metres so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we haven't found him. No? Okay. We've seen a lot of turtles. And how many people are <laughs> hunting for the tortoise? There are literally seven people <laughs> hunting for this tortoise right Just now. Seven. <laughs> right. Edges, I'm going to need you yeah. to go to these places on this map. Okay. All right, you yeah. hear me? Yeah. You hear me? You I'm got this? Yeah. We're going to anyway. talk to the seagulls. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go talk to the fish. Sometimes fish go, that's it, exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and a crab. Yeah, and a witness called Dory. 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 Yeah, I've heard she's unreliable. Have you? Yeah, someone told me she's really unreliable. Right. But I can well, tell. Well, then we should I definitely think. go to her for evidence. Yeah, we should. Yeah, okay, okay. good. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, so we'll do those. So you want to do the seagulls? Seagulls. Then the crab. Then the crabs. I hear they go, they're a bit sideways, watch them. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're a bit shifty. Yeah. And then we're going to go. And then we'll go. Dory. And we'll talk to Dory. Yeah. Alright, okay. Alright, come Okay. On. Touch on. <laughs> And in 1973, Dame Lady Ha Ha travelled to Mongolia to learn throat singing techniques. <laughs> 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 
Her unique technique was used in The Exorcist uh, to provide special effects. And her ability to swivel her head round meant that she stood in as a stunt double for Linda Blair. I don't want to change. I don't want to change. <laughs> but she would not stoop to using bad language. So they had to get in a voice actor for that. She preferred to sing. And then she went back after this uh, shocking and difficult time in the film industry. She went back to her beloved opera. Uh, yes, it's, uh, this is a special poisonous puffer fish. Oh, which I've developed a very special stone knife. No, you try first. I guess I use this special stone your... knife to cut its poison sack out. Yes. But it'll take me seven years to sharpen the knife. But I'm hungry now. <laughs> and you are clever, and I am not. And I'm hungry, and you're clever. Well, you eat the... Puffer fish now. <laughs> <laughs> but you say poisons. It's the chance we all have to take. <laughs> Judge! Put it like that. And that was actually, I'm sure we'll all agree, an excellent interview with, with David Asper explaining why this tortoise is in fact um, holding the nuclear codes for all the countries within its shell. Uh, my mind was blown. Let's go into the, to a correspondent in the field. Has anyone else joined the search for such an important tortoise? Yeah, thank you, Kirsty. No, we are still on the seven. Um, we have learned some more things here in the field. I've actually met a former owner of the tortoise. She says its name is Essio Trot. We don't believe her. <laughs> <laughs> We've had other names thrown into the ring, and also, for some reason, Donald Trump's hair is, is apparently perched on the tortoise's head. Obviously, we haven't found the tortoise yet to corroborate this. Okay, well we're getting some, uh, some tweets coming in here, some people are saying that they believe uh, are spending so much time talking about tortoises being missing as shellfish, mm, I think some people are, are taking this whole thing a bit lightly. Uh, we're also getting some, uh, some, some tweets in from political uh, parties that blame everything on the opposing political party. So next, I think we're going to have an interview with, with David Attenborough's cousin, who has once seen a tortoise that knew this tortoise. Ciao, ciao! <laughs> right, Edgers, how was the update? If you want that promotion, you've got to impress me. I've been, I've been, I've been, and I've interviewed them all, right? right. I've, got, I've memorized. What's low down? I've memorized What's it. What's low down? Right, I went to see the seagulls. Right. And they went, bye, bye, bye. Booby trap with mines. I think so. Do you remember what happened last time? You said it was booby trap with mines. <sighs> That's how we lost Paulie, isn't it? I know. I'm, I'm a bit worried about that. So I've put down that we might need to involve the bomb squad. The bomb squad. Yeah, the bomb squad. I don't think you should be. We're not going to give you the codes to the bomb squad. Edges. Well, come on. I went to talk to the crabs. Right. And they they just sort of did this and went yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. And then so I didn't get much good out. So you are saying you haven't solved the crime? No, well I saw Dory though. Right. And she says she said, yeah, she knows exactly who's taking him. She knows that exactly, right? Yeah. Did you write that down, Edges? I wrote down, she knows exactly who's taking him. Um she just can't quite remember now. So I've got someone sitting with her. Right. And hopefully she'll remember. And then, well, that's actually quite smart, Edges. Yeah. 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 So I think it's just a matter of, of waiting I've until... Got, I've got to go, though, because I've got that, that tooth oh. appointment. OK. <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> so can you just... just, just... Right. Hurry around. Come on. Dory, can you remember? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, she says, oh, no, um, she doesn't actually think now that he was taken and abducted in a van. She thinks he was actually, he just went home. Right. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> and in 1992, after a triumphant performance of Schoenberg's Piero Lunaire, unfortunately tragedy struck. <gasps> Dame Lady Ha Ha lost her voice and she was forced to enter the world of mime. <laughs> where she became a renowned performer. Unfortunately, no one ever watched her again. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
It's okay. I can operate. I just need to spend seven years working on these stone surgical tools. Just hold on. Keep hold on. You clever me down. Ow. Well, I did say there's a chance we all had to take. <laughs> Change channel. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting an update that um, there is the potential of a, of a tortoise spotting. It may be the tortoise, we're not sure. Um, going over to co our correspondent in the field, do you have any sightings of the tortoise that may or may not be the missing tortoise with the nuclear codes? Yes, Kirsty, yes, we have. We've moved now from, <laughs> we've moved from the field, we've, we've walked a bit down uh, through St. Clements, and we're now outside the Port Mahon, where I am joined by Richard Attenborough, cousin of David Attenborough, who has allegedly seen the tortoise. Richard? Yes! Oh, I see, yes. He's, he's claiming he's blown it up and made a, a massive dinosaur tortoise and flown it to, flown it to an island in, uh, in the near, nearby Costa Rica. So I don't think it's actually the tortoise we're looking for. Okay. It's in fact a dinosaur island tortoise. So. Fake news, I'm afraid, Kirsty. Back to you. Oh, okay, well, um, we're getting some uh, world leaders coming in uh, and saying latest information is that they're saying this could be the, the time of all we're waiting for for nuclear disarmament. As we've lost all the codes, no one can use them, so why don't we take this as an opportunity? So, um, this could be the world peace we've been looking for. Yes? Do you agree? Uh, it's a nuclear winter, Kirsty. Oh. Well, hey! so uh, bear with. Uh, that concludes our first half. Thank you very much for your support. Nice to get the voice. Gives me more time to breathe. Uh, so we're going to take a 20 minute break if you want to grab a drink and go to the bathroom. But there is homework, okay? For you people running off, there is homework. Uh, we're going to be passing out some cards. On these cards, we want suggestions. We want either a profession, so like a job, 
a location or a theme of a scene. We want one suggestion per card. You can just write it on the card and put it in the box. And these will be the basis, start right. These will be the basis for our entire second half, okay? So unless you want to spend half an hour sitting in complete silence in the second half, which might be interesting, <laughs> please, please, please get right in your head. Thank you very much. Have a great interval. Welcome back, everyone. And so, if you would like to take a seat, we will begin. Meanwhile, Romance. Romance. He said he loves me. Mm. Yeah, I know. He said he thinks I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Mm. I know. He said that he's going to marry me. Mm -hmm. I know. Sandra. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. He's told me all these things before. He's told you all these things before? Mm. He told me he told you all those things before. Yes, I know. Because <laughs> we're going to get married. Yes, I know. Because he loves me. Mm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, mm. fate. Deep. <laughs> fate, thank you. <laughs> Someone will come soon and ask for their fortune. I can tell that in the ball. Ah, I was expecting you. Hello! <laughs> I'd like my fortune, please. Oh, okay. You must cross my palm with silver. That's like getting paid, right? Yeah. Do you take card, yeah? Uh, I do, yeah. I really, love that. Yeah, if you just, uh, if you've got contactless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Invisible, mate. It's the future. Mm. Beep, look at that. Perfect. Sweet out, sweet out. What do you see? I see, I see numbers. I see a, I see an overdrawn bank account. <laughs> I see, I see a very angry lady in your future. Ooh, she's, she's saying, why are you wasting money? Is she happy or is she angry? She's All right. She's very angry. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, or, or, okay, remember, it's very important. You will need to duck to the right. Duck to the right. Duck to the right. Yeah. And here I see you're ducking to the left. Does it work? No, she oh. throws to the left. She throws to the left, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she would a classic shower, left-handed bowler, yeah. Okay, um, let me have a look. Let's go further into your future. Ooh, I look quite rich there. Mm, yes, that's because you're at a party with one of those aprons. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to own one of them, so... That's quite, that's quite nice to see. That is, this is a few years in the future now, yeah. and she's still with you. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm surprised, which doesn't often happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Do the scathing comments, are they part of the admission, or do I have to pay extra for that? <laughs> Let me have a look at this. Let me have a look at this. Yeah. I see inspectors coming in, busting you for fraud. Oh, that's a look. Oh, yes. Yes, I see that too. Right? <laughs> Paul! Paul, you're wasting all my money! Ducks the rat! Ducks the heart! Meanwhile, a clown. Your uh, nose. Thanks. Thanks. Been going very well with your clown school, has it? I mean, I. You didn't have to point it out, did you? I mean, 
，那往切。<笑><笑>
learning manners. Oh, <laughs> you could you, think for yourself. I heard you in 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 yoga this morning. <laughs> yes. Uh, you heard me and you. I went yes, to yoga. I, you didn't. I was in yoga. I was in the back. I can't do the yoga, but I go there to listen to the farting. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you in particular. It's because I had salad. Yes. <laughs> and the cabbage you had last night. <laughs> as soon as you had that cabbage, I put it in my little diary to go to yoga <laughs> this morning. <laughs> so I could laugh at you. <laughs> it's your turn to moan now. I told Nigel to go to yoga and take the mat behind you. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've been having my eye on him for... Oh. oh. Well, he had his eye on you. And his nose. <laughs> oh, he did a salad. Talk about. <laughs> what did you eat for breakfast? 
Are you avoiding the main issue? How fast are you? Shall we just talk about your mother? <laughs> Where's my mother? When are you going to tell her? Why didn't you tell her? Why would I tell her that you've decided to leave the country and become an expert ninja? How am I going to tell my mother? How do you think she would best receive such news at the loss of her son? Do you think like this? <laughs> How does she lift her leg? Is your mother a ninja? Oh, why could my whole family not be ninjas? <laughs> <laughs> get your inspiration from? Which pine tree ever whispers to me? <laughs> <clears throat> Is anyone else up for the challenge? If you're a ninja, how come you're so noisy? <laughs> Where did you hear the noise? Have you ever been to China? How should that be possible? Have you travelled far? When can I travel? When did you get here? How should I know? <laughs> <laughs> How should you know? <laughs> I think that's enough ninja questions. Okay, meanwhile, per, uh, meanwhile, personal shopper, personal shopper. I think we want to go with yellows because you've got a peach shape. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? So a you want to go shape. a peach shape. Yes, yeah, so you want to go. Is it more pear? No, she's a peach shape. Peach shape. shape. Peach shape. Mm -hmm. I'm pear. Your pear. I'm pear. Your pear. Peach. 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 peach pear. <laughs> <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're a regular fruit salad, Gladys. <laughs> what shape am I? You're an apple. You're an apple. So we've got a fruit salad, we've got an apple, we've got a, a pear, we've got a peach. So you're going to go yellow. yellow. Anyone, anyone looking for a banana? Oh, no, no, you're a pineapple. Sam, so you're a pineapple. <laughs> I'm, a, um, I'm a tomato. Should I be in this no. class or down the corridor? No, I, I, you're a tomato. I think uh, you could be in this class. Yeah. But I'm just thinking, like, you're not a yellow. No. She's a yellow. Yeah. So it's like a green. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just thinking you're a red, aren't you? Very much so. Like a, a red. dark red. I drink a lot. So I think these dress, <laughs> these selection is not going to suit you. Okay, I'll no, go. So I go down the yeah, I'll go down the corridor. See you later. Whereas the apple, I think yeah. you're going to look smashing in green. <laughs> Like yeah. a polo neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll stay. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think I should repair. Yes. I think maybe we'll I am proud to be a pair. Brown, like a turd brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I, yeah. I shall embrace this turd brown. So should I find something yellow? I should just go find something yellow. Nothing too yellow, because you're quite pasty. So if you go like super yellow, you're gonna look really ugly. <laughs> so I just think just think something a bit yellow. Bit yellow. More but not like yellow. not like summer yellow. Just like oh. my cat's been sick on the carpet kind of yellow. Oh. You know? Okay, and pineapple. Like I'd like something white. I think please. you've been told as well you're a banana and you're actual pineapple. So I think we need to just work with this a little I've bit. I've got over the banana. Have you? Yesterday's news. Okay, I'm good. Pineapple through and through. Cut me. And I'm just thinking. I'm just lean thinking. Lean acidic juice. That's that is absolutely smashing. I just think you you would work like a bit like a pizza topping with a variety of different colours. So you oh, might be red. Suit. You might be yellow. You might be even a smash of like orange, but like maybe necktie orange. So I've got a necktie over here. Let's just. Here we go. Yellow coat. Oh my god. Fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're right, sir. You look great. Thank you. You ready for your My date? Turtleneck. 
Mm-hmm. And you're going to it on it, ready for your day? Yeah. Yeah? Gonna Hang on. Squeeze it. Finishing touch. Just a little necktie, everyone loves a necktie. Thank you. Yeah? Great. You're the best fashion person I've ever met. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, blind hairdresser. <laughs> blind hairdresser. <laughs> In 2007, Vicky Staples bought some dodgy sun cream overseas on a beach holiday. <laughs> and a skull and crossbones on the bottle, and she applied it as the instruction says to our eyes and other sensitive areas. Her life, she thought, was over. But thankfully, Graham Beveridge was willing to take her off in his exciting new hairdressing venture. Welcome. I think we can really make a success of this together. Yes, I want to do a palm. Yes. Have you I want to do a mullet. A mullet. Popular in uh, Eastern European countries. <laughs> Which is where we are. So this should break in the cat. I would like to do a mullet. <laughs> we need a model. We need a model. We need a model. A model. Our first customer, welcome! Hello! Welcome to Blind Hairdresser! <laughs> what would you like? Ask anything. M- mullet. Mullet! Mm. Well, this, um, yeah, um, it was, this point, palm. it was at this point that the screaming began. Did I cut you? Did I cut you? Did she cut me? Did I cut you? Did I cut you? Did I cut her? Did she cut me? Did I cut her? Did she cut me? Someone just screamed me. She cut me. Vodka. <laughs> yes. There you go. I think you look lovely, Julia. <laughs> did I cut you? Did you, did you cut me? <laughs> At this point, it was unclear if she had been cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I just visualise that you look lovely. Yes. We will perform this scene with three performers, one of whom will be sitting down, standing up, and lying down at all times. I love this lack of gravity. Mm, I love this gravity. I love this gravity chair. Should any of us push the button to like move the spaceship? I, I will push it. Oh, oh. Just, oh, oh, just help me for a second. I feel like I'm getting weighed down. Uh, it's gra- happening. Gra- the the chair. suction's happening. The gravity chair. The suction's happening. So I'm going to push the button. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh, oh no. Good. Reach the button. Are you all right, Horatio? I can't. I'm floating away. I need to press the other button. The fuse button. Otherwise we're going to be in the dark. Uh, We don't want to be in the dark zooming towards anywhere, not knowing where we are. You can't plot the coordinates. There we go. Beep, 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 beep. It's dark. It's so dark. I fall asleep when it's dark. It's really, really dark. Actually, I'm feeling a bit dizzy. I'm thinking I'm having some vertigo. Whew. Take the, take the, the gravity chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Quick, quick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. What? The gravity chair. Don't worry, look. Oh, I'll I press your... Button eventually. Get my pills. <laughs> Should I not press the button before I get your pills? Yes. Uh, I mean, just the, oh, pills the, are... pills. The, the, the pills. The pills. Yes, the pills. Oh, thank pills. you. The pills, thank you. For the... <clears throat> Yeah, go on. I'm fine. 
remember the procedure, we have to press the mm. first button before we do the second button, mm. which is down here under the, mm. oh, these pillars. Under the solar panel. Oh, they make the oh, gravity chair not work. I feel really sick, Horatio. Zola, I can't believe you don't care more. Oh, just the pills don't work on this. They're just, I mean, it's they're a combination of the vertigo and the gravity The chair does not work. Oh, look, a star. <gasps> oh, look at that big star. Mm. Wow, we really are amazing, aren't we? <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Meanwhile, Anne. That's it. Put it through there. Go on. Yeah, I'm not going to ask you to help me because no. only five times my body weight. All right. <laughs> All right, show off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then move that bit of bread. Yeah, that bit of bread in the bar. Yeah, no, a little bit. Yeah, have a little bit. Go on, put it over there. Put it over there. Go on. Go on. Go on. All right. <laughs> Oh, I think it's like the eight times my body weight. Well, come on, that's it. Bow to your queen. Bow to your queen. Come on, go past, go past. Lovely, lovely eggs, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> I laid them myself, so yeah, yeah. <sighs> Meanwhile, <laughs> toilet roll. Why do you always get these ones? Toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else to help me lift it. Oh, I'm just roll. yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just been rolling this toilet. Oh, oh, I mean, you well, could have asked. Okay. You just help pick that end of the toilet up, and I'll pick. Are we end. rolling the toilet or the actual toilet roll? Just sound clear. We're rolling the toilet. We're trying to install a new toilet over there. A new toilet. A new toilet. A new toilet. The other toilet got broken. A new toilet. A new toilet. <sighs> Fine. Right. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Flip it. Flip it. Yeah. Roll it. Roll it. Reflections. shall we say, in my uh, diaperage. So, uh, even in five minutes, if you could change that, that would be fantastic. Yes, love it. Basically, I need to shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the eye of a needle! The eye of a needle! <laughs> I was going 
Van binnenal.
Oh, stunt double. <laughs> stunt. Got ya. <laughs> I can jump out of a plane. I can set myself on fire. I can crash a car. I don't look like anyone else, though. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here because my fingernails are very easily broken. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not jumping out of that. Tommy stunt double for today. What? I, it seemed very last minute. What? Seven people were for me, and they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm just going to check something in my car. Right, I'm your stunt double today. Could you just do it for me today, please? I'm just scared. <laughs> world's worst astronaut. World's worst astronaut. I'll do anything you say except for going to space. <laughs> I'm just going to take a better look. <laughs> right, I've got all the scuba gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you want my brother Neil? Yeah, yeah, I do the stretching. <laughs> <laughs> One small step for Aman. Aman. Damn it, Neil. Come on, grip it, Aman. Why do I have to say man? <laughs> <laughs> World's worst. <laughs> Comedian. Comedian. Make your own jokes, please. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Make your own jokes, okay? No problem. <laughs> Welcome to this funeral. <laughs> oh, have I told you this joke? Um, you know the, the snowman, what do you call the melting snowman? <sighs> I got this joke. Like, so, your ex-wife comes along. She was so beautiful. <laughs> What's the snowman? What's the snowman? Oh, it's a snowman. Yeah. <laughs> well, first. Beautician. World's worst beautician. James, I've, just, I've devised a revolutionary new brief beauty treatment for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's just one problem. <laughs> of course you need a facial. Ugly face like that. Let's get one booked in. And we call this one, darling, the paper bag. <laughs> Yes, it, yes, it's watercolour. It won't last for him. <laughs> they say beauty is the eye, in the eye of the beholder, and you are bloody rough. <laughs> <laughs> beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and we've removed everyone's eyes. Set <laughs> <Is that> mine! <laughs> well, this is a beauty sign. Are you coming in here? No chance. World's worst fan girl. World's worst fan girl. Okay, so I've got little fans, I've got big fans, I've got this like tower one. Have you got miniature fans? I've got some miniature fans, yeah. Like, they, uh, and I've set them all up, and this is gonna be like my fan. I'm gonna take pictures, and this will be my fan page. This is your new business. Fans, yeah. Is, I'm, I'm a fan girl. <laughs> Trudy, do you realise we haven't got electricity? So are you saying that it's only fans? It's only fans, <laughs> it's only fans yeah. <laughs> and to finish off, what? Well, you only say to finish off when you wish you'd finish one earlier. Uh, world's worst drug dealer. World's worst drug dealer. So I've got your aspirin. I've got your paracetamol. <laughs> I've got your, 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 yeah, I know, these are all things you get in the shop, but I'm closer, aren't I? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, close 
Constable Jones, do you like some drugs? Oh, bugger. <laughs> you got the money? Have you got the drugs? I don't have either. <laughs> the hundred quid, no quibbling. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it for 80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do it for 50. <laughs> so we've got heroin on a two for one, which will be a good thing for you, because uh, you'll be needing it. <laughs> and if you don't pay up, we're going to give you a very stern talking to. <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine, heroin, smack. Shit. Time to set up my LinkedIn profile. Name, Stephen Wiggles. Job, drug dealer. Availability, open to work. Now we sit back and wait for the money to come rolling in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got cocaine. I just, I store it just down here. Oh, is that not what you store? Hey, Mr. Officer, you want some coke? Yeah, no, what's this? It's a, I know my rights! <laughs> so I've got your, your fine bow china. I've got your done all down here, your, your big ones, your little ones, your espresso. Oh, you want drugs? I thought you said mug dealer. <laughs> 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 Thank you all very much for coming and uh, we like to close our shows by reflecting on stuff that we've learned tonight. Uh, I personally have learned if you're ever on a beach in a nondescript country, definitely try the dodgy looking sunscreen. <laughs> Shan, what have you learned? I've learned that I've been doing drug dealing all wrong. <laughs> I have learned that uh, you can easily fall in love with sheep. <laughs> I've learned... Uh, what have I learned? <laughs> I've learned that counting pleasures can be a very enjoyable activity. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I've learned that yellow is my colour. <laughs> I've learned never to eat puffer fish. Wise words, wise words. Thank you so much for coming. So, we are all actors. We do shows here at Port Mahon every other Sunday, which, if you could do your maths, means our next show here is on... 28th of May! 28th of May! Great! <laughs> Fantastic, love it, brilliant. We also have got another uh, date at James Street Tavern up the Cowley Road, and that is on... June 13th... June... <laughs> <laughs> it's, on our oh, yeah. <laughs> it's on our socials! <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're all connected. If you are your social medias, your, your Twitters, your Facebooks, your Instas, please give us a follow. Um, we've got some flyers knocking about. If you want to take one, please uh, grab it. Tell your friends. Spread the good words. Uh, I've always forget Wednesdays. One. Wednesdays. If you sit this and feel inspired, you want to have a go yourself. We meet every Wednesday at the Regal Community Centre in Cowley. That starts at quarter past seven where we go through a few activities, a bit of work shopping, and then go to the pub as well, so it's a lovely time. And I think now I've ticked everything off the list, correct? Yes. Love it, confidence. <laughs> so, all that remains to be said is thank you all so much for coming on this Sunday night, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic remaining two or three hours of the day, and an amazing week. <laughs> thank you very much.